Native Script UI is a set of professional user interface components that are completely free to use in your Native Script apps. Let's look at how you can use these components to add some powerful functionality to your applications. The first thing to know about Native Script UI is that it's really nothing more than a Native Script plugin. You can find the components on NPM under the name Native Script Pro UI. Installing the plugin works like any other Native Script plugin. Just head over to your terminal or command prompt. And in an existing Native Script app, which I've got one created here called Native Script UI Rocks, run TNS plugin add Native Script Pro UI. This installs the plugin and makes the Native Script UI controls available for you to use. All right, I'm going to open this app in my editor here in a second, but I'll mention one quick thing first. Native Script UI supports both Native Script Core and Native Script Angular applications. You'll find both approaches documented on the Native Script UI docs and in samples and such as well. I'm going to show both architectures in this video, but we're going to start with a Native Script Core application. At the moment, this app is basically just a blank slate. I just see an action bar over here on my iOS simulator and Android virtual device. So let's do something fun. In Native Script Core apps, to use any UI plugin, you first have to import their XML namespaces. So I'll do this here with the calendar control, which you can see I'm getting from the Native Script Pro UI package we just installed. With the namespace declared, I can use the calendar control in my markup. In the case of the calendar, the starting markup is really incredibly simple. It's actually just cal for match the namespace up here and rad calendar, which is the name of the calendar control in Native Script UI. And with that single line of code, as I save this file here, I get a completely native calendar control, both on Android and iOS. It's pretty crazy that you get all of that from really two lines of code. All Native Script UI controls provide a comprehensive set of APIs that you can use to control the appearance and behavior of these controls. For the calendar, just as an example, one attribute you can provide is a view mode attribute. The default of this attribute is month, but you can switch it to year if, for example, you needed to show an entire year's worth of data within your app. Another fun one to use is month names, which loads you up to a view, which just shows the starting months that you can use for a little bit of navigation. Now, there are, is a whole ton of functionality in these controls. There are many different attributes. There are many different things that you can do to customize these controls, calendar and otherwise, to meet the needs of your applications. Now, personally, I think the best place to see all of the different functionality sort of in one place is to use the official Native Script UI sample applications that are available on GitHub. The Native Script team provides two of these. One is available at github.com slash Telerik slash Native Script dash UI dash samples. And the second is at the same URL, just with dash Angular appended. As you might expect, the apps are exactly the same, except the first is built with Native Script Core and the second is built with Angular. If you clone these sample apps and run them on the device, you'll see this list of components. For example, if you navigate to the calendar control we just looked at, you could, for instance, look at how the view modes that we saw just a minute ago work. You could also look at other features of the calendar, such as how to do localization, how to select different date ranges. Maybe you have some sort of scheduling app where the user needs to select different dates and times. There are different ways you can view events if you have that sort of need for your application as well. Of course, these samples are available for both iOS and Android as well, so you could see how these controls render in each individual environment. The sample app is also a great way to discover the other Native Script UI controls. Calendar is just one of the many controls that the suite offers. The list view adds some powerful ways that you can interact with lists in your applications. For example, you could allow users to reorder items in your list, or, Add pull to refresh quite easily. Add swipe actions. And a whole lot more. The side drawer makes it easy to add menus or navigation to your app. The data form makes it powerful to generate complete mobile forms from simple JavaScript objects. It even lets you do complex things like adding complete validation to your forms. And finally, the autocomplete control makes it really trivial to add autocomplete behavior to your apps, whether you want to autocomplete in token mode, as you see this behavior here, or just in a plain text field mode as such. Make sure to peruse the full sample app to get an idea of everything Native Script UI can do. And when you find something you like, you can easily copy and paste the appropriate code over into your own applications. 
For now though, let's go back to our editor and try one more example, as I really want to show you how the NativeScript UI charts work. What you're seeing is again here a really basic NativeScript app that just has an action bar and that app running over here on iOS and Android. But this app is built with Angular instead of NativeScript core. And the process for registering the NativeScript UI controls is just very slightly different. What you'll need to do is head into your app's ng module. You'll need to import a module for the control that you want to use. So in this case, I am going to be using the chart control. So I'm bringing in the NativeScript UI chart module. After that, I'm going to register that chart module, chart module in the imports of my ng module. And that's it. After that, you're good to use that NativeScript UI component in your app. For this app, I want to build a quick little chart that shows the NPM downloads of NativeScript for the last handful of months. So I'm going to start by just adding the raw download number as a property in my component. Since this is an Angular app, I don't have any XML namespaces to worry about. Instead, I can just directly type the APIs of the various NativeScript UI controls right in my markup. For a NativeScript UI chart, it's a red Cartesian chart that you can use. The charts require you to provide a little bit of metadata about what sort of chart you want to use, um, how your axes should be configured, and basically how you want to arrange your data on the screen. Now, in this case, I'm saying I want to use a line series or more or less use a line chart to show this data. The items, this is Angular's data binding mechanism. The items I want to use is this downloads property that's got my raw data. The category property is month, tying to these property names you see here. And the value property is this downloads number, the actual value that I want to show in the line chart. And you saw pretty instantaneously, I now have a completely native iOS and Android chart. Again, I think it's pretty awesome that you can add these robust native premium controls in really just a handful of lines of code. And you can once again do a whole lot to configure these controls. This is probably more so of the chart than any of the other components in NativeScript UI. Just to give you a brief taste of this, I've got a line series right now, but if I instead wanted to show this as a bar graph, all I'd have to do is change this from a line series to a bar series. And I'd be seeing bar data instead. I could switch from a bar series over to an area series if I wanted to see that sort of chart instead. I can show multiple different data sets at the same time. So suppose I also wanted to compare, this is for the native script package on NPM. If I also had the TNS core modules, which is a dependency of native script apps, if I wanted to show this data side by side, I could throw this data into my component as well and just toss another series up here into where I'm declaring my chart. So I've got an area series that I'm going to show the native script package, and then I'll show the TNS core modules package, just sort of show this data side by side. And NativeScript pretty much instantaneously renders that data out. And we're really only scratching the surface. If we head back over to the samples app, you can get a, just a small taste of everything that you can do with these charts. For example, if I wanted to add legends to my chart, this is just another quick bit of markup that is all you really have to add. There's other series, so I showed bar, line, and area, but there is really just a crazy number of things that you can do with this control. So candlestick, bubble, you could do pie charts, you can do scatter plots. There's just a whole lot out there. Between all of these controls that are available, hopefully you've seen something that you think could really improve your own native script apps. If you're ready to get started, head to the NativeScript UI documentation over at docs.telerik.com. There, you'll find the material I went over today on how to get started, how to install, how to get things up and running in your apps. You'll also find comprehensive documentation on each of the individual UI components, and you'll find them regardless of whether you're using Angular in your apps or if you're using NativeScript core. So go ahead and give NativeScript UI a shot and let us know what you think.